the show now moving on to the mega exclusive interview states cannot survive the double whammy of demonetization and gst on its revenue that's the word coming in from bengal finance minister amit mitra in an exclusive interview with shireen pan amit mitra lashed out at the government's demonetization drive terming it dictatorial and anarchist listen in when we went into full force and mamta banerjee as you know in her manifesto supported gst i as uh, elected as chairperson of the import committee of finance ministers worked avidly for it what was the assumption the assumption was there's going to be a fiscal destabilization hmm. for how long up to 5 years definitely 2 3 years therefore we asked for compensation of the state revenues from the center yes. for 5 years and the center agreed and put it in the constitutional amendment later mm. the union finance minister suggested in the gst council up to 14% rate of growth of taxes whoever does not achieve we will compensate them all this under the assumption yes. that there's going to be a massive fiscal destabilization and we have mm. to address it head on and for that we develop the whole model all of a sudden mm. comes a second whammy of de demonetization which is a much bigger process than the gst process gst is fundamental this is temporal which moves towards the recession now you mm. tell me any logical person when you expected a destabilization of the fiscal structure you prepared for it you sought compensation yes. we all agreed then without any understanding or notice without any preparation suddenly comes this dictatorial process of 86% mm. demonetization My question so to you and your viewers is can we face this two destabilization processes simultaneously for the common people the government has decided that there is going to be no roll back the government has decided that they will go through the prime minister has asked the country for 50 days sir uh, i want to now specifically ask you about whether you believe this disruption that you talked about you talked about steel mills you talked about fmcg you talked about the informal sector west bengal has a large informal sector most other economists that we've been speaking to while acknowledge thinking that there will be disruption in the short term even to supply chains believe that it will perhaps uh, you know start to pick up in two or three quarters you're saying that the disruption will be much more long term you see what happens is if you have a recessionary condition and disruption for two three quarters as you say the entire supply chain comes under risk it takes longer for a country to get back on its even keel I'll give you an example. Three billion notes can be produced a month by the government yeah. if it is three shifts a day, 24/7. Now, how many notes do you need? 500 rupee notes to get back into the uh, into mm. the market. You need 17.5 billion notes. That itself mm. gives you an idea that it will take six months. to put back the notes that you have eliminated in the marketplace